Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope it is going well and hope it continues to go well. Final video today, recorded at 11.40 at night. Jeez, okay. So, I don't know if you've seen, but Spotify is currently saying the 21 Pilots' newest album, Clancy, is scheduled to come out May 24th. Not May 17th, like the band initially said, nor what anyone else thought, but a whole week after the fact. So what in the world is going on? Of course, many people have speculated that this is Spotify just in fact glitching out because it's the only place saying May 24th. There are other people saying that this is in fact confirmation that the album has been delayed by a week because, you know, Spotify says it has to be true, but... We can go back and forth, but the ultimate thing is you have to wait until something is officially said by Tyler, Josh, the 20 Pilots band account, Mark from Real Bear Media, or someone on Warner Media. But even more specifically, just any, either Tyler or Josh or the band account. But I just want to talk about for a hot second on why in the world an album would be delayed for a week. So... Take a look at albums that have been delayed in the past. You have to rule out a couple of things. One, roll out guest vocals on the album. Roll out guest lyrics. Because as far as we know, if no one is featuring on the album because something would have been said, blah, 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 featuring so-and-so. Now, of course, people are going to say, well, what about the Craving Jenna's version? I mean, the studio's in the Joseph Housel. Jenna can record her vocals at any time during the process of making the album if Jenna does feature on the track. So, highly unlikely that it's a guest. Albums have been delayed in the past due to materials on making the album, like CDs or vinyls or what have you. However, this factor has since become a non-factor in recent years due to the rise of streaming and listening to music, not on CDs or vinyls. In fact, if that is the issue, then the merch is delayed, not the whole entire album. The main things that can affect Clancy is that one... If a song got completely corrupted and they would have to re-record a whole new version where they're like, oh, we lost it, it's completely broken, record a new one, so they have to go back in and do that, and or they found a major flaw in one song and it's too late and they have to go back in and re-record one little section for it, and or if the artist's artistic vision changes and they want to do something completely different and incorporate something those are usually the common factors of more recent time and or legal issues legal issues is also another big one there i know several bands that have delayed albums upwards to a year or a few due to a band member leaving and or record companies changing and getting bought out they have to go through contracts then artist contracts a whole mess of things while we haven't seen legal issues affect 21 Pilots albums, Tyler himself did confirm that he did have a slight artistic change in Scale and Icy, where a month before Scale and Icy was to come out, I believe, Tyler added the last bit of the outside, the I'm on the sum I'm on the outside in the summer he he had that last part, which is why it's not in the official Scale and Icy lyric book. So looking at those two things, if it's an artistic change, then it's a major artistic change, especially since apparently people have gotten early advances of Clancy and have reviewed them online, which have leaked, apparently, that I've seen on the Twitter machine. And if it's legal issues, I would imagine that the legal issues would take much longer than just a week, but more so a couple of months and or again up to a year. And there might be other factors that I'm not thinking of. I know people have thrown the idea that Tyler just had a child, which is true. They just had little Tommy. However, and this is going to be mean, but the music industry doesn't care. The music industry has no maternity leave. If you, and like, it, the music industry sucks where it's like, oh, you just had surgery to fix something in your vocal cord. That sucks. Hey, go back on tour. Hey, your dog died. Hey, I'm so sorry. Get back out on tour. And of course, the 20 Pilots situation is different because they're not immediately touring, to which I think Tyler did tour like a month and a month and a half later after they had Junie, if correct me if I'm wrong. But 
uh, for uh, Tommy, it's not like Tyler is immediately leaving to go on tour. Tyler is still going to be home up until rehearsals, which should take into middle of June slash early July. Like, the only thing I can think of is that some major event in the world is happening on May 17th that pushed 21 Pilots away. And that would have to stop Billie Eilish, too. Because, again, if it's something major world-breaking, then no one will be releasing albums on May 17th. So Billie would be pushed back a whole other time. And the threat of a Billie Eilish album isn't good enough to move a whole 20 pilot album to another week. Looking at Wood Scale Nice release, you had uh, apparently Olivia Rodrigo, you had BTS, you had Blake Shelton, you had Waterparks. You had so many artists putting out things on May 21st that 20 pilots and Billie Eilish, that is not a good enough reason to move to another thing. What about the music videos? Uh, I guess that could be a factor. However, Mark stayed up, geez, Mark stayed up in the morning and finished the uh, next semester music video and uploaded at like 4 a.m. And with three music videos down with Overcompensate Next Semester and Backslide, you have uh, 11 more music videos to do, which hypothetically you could outsource if you're in buying and or literally just make one of Tyler and Josh eating soup. I would be satisfied with that. But the music videos all getting done is stressful, but it's also one of the least likely factors of getting it done. But that is everything I can think of at the moment of why the album would be pushed back only by a week. So, like I said, if it was something major, the album would be pushed back a whole month, a couple months, or a year. So, there's that. But like I said, this is all speculation at this point. No no one has officially confirmed and said Tornado Pilots are delaying the Clancy by a week. No site besides Spotify is saying that information. And Spotify glitches all the time. So at least Spotify glitches on me a whole bunch and my friends a whole bunch. So, take Spotify... With a grain of salt. Green salt, because it's Spotify. But Apple Music still says May 17th. Amazon Music says May 17th. Spotify was the last one to get the updated Clancy-themed album art for Trench, for Blurry Face, for Scale Nicey, for Vessel. Spotify was the very last one. So hypothetically, an update like this should be changed on everywhere else as well, and or be reflected on the 20 mil pilot site, be reflected in the pre-order merch. Because if the album's delayed, all the pre all the uh, Clancy merchandise is also delayed by a week, maybe with the exception of the wearables. But vinyls, they'll be delayed by a week. The CDs, cassettes, those will be delayed by a week due to the fact that the whole album's delayed. So. You have to see it in many other places, not just the one spot. So, by the way, guys, that's it. So, turn on my purple noise, and I'm going to bed. Goodbye, and good night, more importantly. Have a good day, and I will see you later.